Hi Gemini, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your spiritual guidance for the month of April 2020. I hope everyone's doing well. Let's just go ahead and get started, Gemini. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Today I'm going to be drawing one card from the Archangel, the Archangel Healing Deck by Doreen Virtue, one card from the Numerology Deck by Michelle Buchanan, and then one card from the After Tarot, just to sum it all up and <laughs> see what we're looking at by the end of April. So let's go ahead and get started, Gemini. I thought the Archangel uh, Raphael healing deck was a good one to choose right now. So much emphasis on health and well-being and taking care of oneself. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Just to remind you that all of my YouTube videos are available in audio format. There are links below as well. Consult a nutritionist. Interesting. And give us your cares. So the primary card is consult a nutritionist. I turn my eating over to you, dear Archangel Raphael, and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and support my ideal height and health and weight. And then under the deck we have Give Us Your Cares. This is a lovely card with kind of a uh, focus on the elderly grandparents. I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go so that you can fully guide me in this situation. But just as sort of intuitively I do feel during, you know, with the elderly couple, the grandparents, there is that focus for many of you, just, I mean, just around the globe on, on caring for, for um, Generational care, right? How do we care for those that we have um, look up to in terms of um, grandparents, elderly mentors, uh, people who are more vulnerable to disease, especially during this time. Um, and then we also have the consultant nutritionist for you as your primary uh, energetic focus here for April. And I do feel Gemini, that um, it may be not just for you, but consult um, a nutritionist or consult your own self with the research that you do around nutrition, however it works for you. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to go to someone else necessarily, although here it is indicated, um, but really a focus on nutrition. Not just for you though, because we have this focus on the elderly. How can you support others in their own uh, health and well-being? And rest, get plenty of rest as well, Gemini. And whatever fears and worries you have, you know, it's easier said than done, Gemini, but do your best to, what's the expression, let go and let God, right? Let go, you you know, worrying about it uh, incessantly, overanalyzing things, picking things apart, very normal, very natural, but it doesn't further you, <laughs> right? It's not actually, um, providing any sort of guidance or answers for you. So you have to go a little deeper, Gemini. You know how to do this and just let it go. Move beyond it. Transcend those stressful thoughts. Ask for help and guidance from other people, from the divine, from your guides and angels, from your, your deep knowingness of self, and then release it and say, yes, I've asked for help. I've done everything I can do. And now I'm just going to be right here and right now, being aware of the foods I ingest, the drinks I, I take in, the environment I'm in. How can I create in the moment a more healthy experience with whatever I, I am doing in the moment, right? Especially around food, drink, your health, for yourself and others. deck for you, Gemini. Effort and happy ending. Huh, how funny. Aries have this exact same um, setup. Happy ending end of the deck. 
effort here as a central card. So with the give us your cares under the deck and the happy ending, we do have this idea of endings, right? We have the idea of elderly. So we have this progressional energy under the deck that you may have been witnessing or watching. It all is working out exactly as it's meant to, but it is coming to, I will say, uh, a conclusion in some form. Don't worry, it's all going to be okay. It all is okay. Use your brilliant mind. You're an air sign. Use your brilliant mind wisely. Your mind is a beautiful tool to utilize. But there, beyond the mind, there is the deep knowing of self. We have effort. Sorry, my video keeps stopping and starting. I'm going to start over. One minute, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, sorry about that. Let's see if this works better. Um, so we have the effort card here. Things are going to settle. Things are going to feel more stable to you. Um, but, you know, with the idea of effort and number 13, number 4, we have this idea of stability, the home, consult a nutritionist, the home that you exist within, the home that houses your soul here. Um, take good care of it. Taurus had a very similar kind of feel um, to their reading, which was all about taking good care of what you ingest, bringing awareness to it. And in your case, consulting others. You know, sometimes being a Gemini, uh, we have that very agile mind. Um, you may think, <laughs> I got this, you know, I can figure it out, but sometimes it's really important to consult a professional. There's lots of online services, a lot of nutritionists and doctors and medical professionals and healthcare professionals who are doing things online if you're not able to get out. So, you know, see what options are available to you, but um, whatever is going on for you, it may be that it can be remedied through, through, through nutrition, you know. Maybe see a naturopath kind of thing. Um, but it does, it does take a little effort on your part, you know. Uh, more than just a cursory, superficial exploration. Something to play with, nothing to worry about, but something to play with and begin to investigate a little bit. We do have the happy ending, give us your cares, under the deck. Again, underlying energy around concluding energy, caring for elderly. And knowing that all is well, you know, everything's happening in divine timing, divine order. Even if it's not always a preference to, to our human selves, you know, you know this on a deeper level. Okay, Gemini, I'm just going to move ahead here and I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the after tarot for you. We're going to look at the, what happens at the end of all this. So kind of the bottom line for, for the end of April. And again, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, so you can listen to your other recordings or watch your other videos um, to get additional guidance. And if you are interested, I do have some meditation recordings up on YouTube and uh, the podcast. I have a being meditation, a calming meditation, and I do have a prior meditation, a guided meditation that I released, I think, last year or the year before. They're under, under the playlist uh, meditations that I have here. And you can download them for free on SoundCloud. Okay, so, Gemini, what is the bottom line? <laughs> what a beautiful air sign. And I am going to be releasing the career, uh, life purpose, and money readings soon as well. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay, beautiful. Again, we have this idea of home, right? The Four of Wands. Remember what I said about uh, 14 or 13 being um, number four for me? That sense of stability, the house that holds your soul, you know. Um, and then we have, by the end of the month, uh, the celebration. Again, for, there's a lot of ways this can come in. One of them is it's around the home, right? Happiness around the home, securing a home, securing. Um, 
the foundations and the fortification of your home, but also there could be an, an, a celebration of some kind, a birthday, um, some sort of a rite of passage happening, um, anniversaries, graduations, this kind of thing. Granted, it's April, so it's a little early for graduations, but you know there may be something like that um, occurring. Celebrations, and even more, as I'm feeling it for Gemini, around the home, Fort fortifying your home, a celebration around the home, stability around the home. And we also have the beautiful uh, Ace of Cups under the deck. Again, give us your cares. Everything is okay. We have a, a we have a renewal here. Um, we have the happy ending and a renewal of happiness good feelings, open-hearted energy there. Um, we, and then we have the Justice card. You know, things happening in your favor under that. So it's all good here, Gemini. Just make sure that you're taking good care of yourself, taking good care of those that you hold close or wanting to give back to the community, to the people who are a bit more vulnerable or not able to get out and about more. Um, and then consulting uh, experts consulting others who have a, a greater knowledge, a deeper knowledge that perhaps you're able to um, glean from your very quick but often kind of superficial, superficial understanding of things because you're so quick-witted. It's easy for you to grasp things very quickly, but there is um, value in going to someone who has a much deeper knowledge, especially around your health. Um, you, the nutrition, all of that. So I hope that you find that helpful, Gemini. I wish you much love as always, and I'll see you next time or at your private appointment. Much love.